All right, we're continuing our four-part series on ankle health. We're now moving on to the peroneals. That's why I got uh, no shoes on. Exactly. So peroneals are, I mean, they're often forgotten muscle group of the lower leg. Calves are very commonly addressed. But peroneals are extension of that lateral line, right? So we talked about the ITV with the hip health series. Now, when we squat, we don't just, we don't squat on our knees, right? So people spend tireless efforts stretching the glutes, stretching the hips, rolling the ITV, but that's usually the end yeah, of the line. Yeah, we stop there. Right? Yeah, so continuing on from here, the fibula, sort of that non-weight-bearing bone on the lateral side of the lower leg, basically has muscles that trace it all the way down. So the pronies longus and brevis are going to be what we focus on primarily. And what they do is they wrap kind of all the way around, and they go to the base of the foot. So they actually attach on to the base of the fifth and the base of the first metatarsal. So they're plantar flexors and evers. evers so of the So kind of like the IT, only they kind of come in and they Just wrap around the foot. Exactly. Okay. So it's the continuation of that lateral line right down to the foot. And the nice thing when we squat, we squat on our feet, or at least we should be anyway. So plantar flexion and eversion. So what that does, plantar flexion, eversion. Okay. So you'll feel these muscles shorten on the side if you just go through that range of motion. So starting first, we'll actually just trace the muscle bellies themselves. So the longest, peroneus longest, starts pretty much right at that fibular head, and you'll notice right about midway that brevis picks up, and then they both dive underneath, attached to base of the first, or sorry, base of the fifth, base of the first metatarsal. So we'll get on those with the lacrosse ball after, but first what I'll have you do, just on the roller, just go tibia down first, so straight on the shin, okay. then roll to the side. Okay. So we'll kind of coach you from that position first. Okay, so, so I'm on, tibia. on my shin. Now rotate that to the side. Like now start bringing the knee up into the chest. Oh, okay. Like I'm gonna roll or lift? Roll, so oh. roll forward. And now you're starting to trace. Now, the key here, take this back heel, yeah. or this back knee, drive it into this heel here. So bring that knee up. Okay, like, do I use that like that, you mean? What do you mean? So this knee, this knee goes right up here. Okay, like against it. Up on top. Oh, on top? Yeah, of so what happens is we're talking oh, about- Oh, okay, well, I can already tell. Right, <laughs> so the, that, when that muscle is like shortening under the tension, it's a plantar flexor and everter, so that heel comes out. What you're doing is you're opposing that motion from happening. You're pushing that heel. Oh, yeah, in. no. Instantly, when you put the, the knee on there, as soon as I put a little bit of pressure on yeah. that, I could feel it right yeah, away. Yeah, so now we're just going to go ahead and trace that all the way down to the ankle. So put your hands forward, pull up on the roller, driving that Ooh. knee down into oh, the boy. heel. Somewhere yeah. I need to address. I'll tell you that right now, just feeling that. Exactly. <sighs> so you kind of trace that right down into that lateral malleolus, right down into the ankle. And you do a few oscillations from there. So when you do here, are you saying, when you say oscillate them? Oscillations, I mean just full length, so come all the way back down. Okay, got you. Good. Oh my God, that feels yeah. brutal right now. That's definitely an area I need to address. So once you've traced the actual muscle, mm -hmm. like I said, these attach right onto the base of the feet. This is that force transfer of our squat right into the floor. So we'll have you hop up. Now we're gonna use that lacrosse ball. So just get you to step on it. So think of the, the insertions, right? Base of the first. So First toe down here, so get right on that kind of medial arch okay. and kind of press down. Oh, yeah. And then base of the fifth is going to be right about there. So you can think of how these muscles trace up and then just follow that pattern with the lacrosse ball. So you're kind of running that oblique angle from the base of the first, yeah. base of the fifth, yeah. And then when I'm applying, what I know a lot of people, this is going to be sensitive. Sure. So there's not a lot of pressure at first, yeah. just kind of... Gradually build, yeah. If, if some is good, more isn't necessarily better to start. And you do have a lot of structures of the intrinsic foot that you need to be sort of conscious about. So start light and then gradually increase the pressure where you see fit. But it should kind of let you know where to stop, similar to most of the myofascial release mm -hmm. we've been doing so far. And right away, you know if it's, it's painful. This is an area to address I can feel. This is something that I've neglected just by getting down here and doing this with you. Excellent, excellent move right there for sure. If you guys like these videos, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Every single day we drop a new video on this channel. Also, at the end of this video, you guys will see a direct link right to our 30 days of free coaching. Check it out.